We just released numbers today at eMarketer for the growth of advertising, uh, online advertising, and what we see is we are now predicting 20% growth for online advertising. Uh, we haven't seen that kind of growth in quite a while. We also expect that by the end of this year, it's a kind of a 2020 thing. Not only is it 20% growth, that, but internet will command 20% of total media dollars. So you might be thinking, Jeff, OK, are we getting a little carried away with ourselves? Are we drinking the Kool-Aid over at eMarketer? Uh, and you might even think that when you look at the latest numbers from the other researchers showing the growth rate for online advertising at up to 15%. But I assure you, our analysts uh, back at eMarketer are crunching the numbers very carefully. We benchmark against the IEB. We're looking at the earnings of Yahoo, AOL, Google, uh, all of the major players, Facebook as well. And we're crunching the numbers, kind of doing a bottoms up approach. And based on first quarter results and a bunch of other trends, the economy, et cetera, that's where we get to the 20% growth. So at this point, I'm sure that Randall's thinking a, a very important question, which is what's growing even faster than online advertising? OK, besides high level political figures who are getting in trouble for sexual misconduct, the answer is display advertising. Yes, even faster than the total online ad market, display advertising is expected to grow 24.5%. Uh, and a bunch of the other numbers from other researchers are lower. Again, I think what we're going to see is that the numbers from the other researchers are going to start to catch up as they see what's happening this year. But our prediction is a strong 24.5% growth, uh, which is about $12.3 billion. That's including sponsorships, uh, banner ads, video, rich media, everything rolled up. And why we see this growth is there is an influx of small and medium-sized uh, uh, businesses who are getting into it with self-serve platforms. Uh, there are improvements, as we've seen today, all day, about uh, uh, improvements in display targeting, buying efficiencies with different buying platforms. We see the social networks coming on strong, whereas we heard today from Ross Levinson, uh, Facebook now commands 33% of impressions. So there's new opportunities for marketers to reach consumers. And of course, hockey stick growth with uh, video. But fundamentally, what we're seeing is that marketers are realizing through data that you can actually move the dial on key things like uh, with display advertising of having people do a search, of have them visit a website, of have them buy offline or online. And the key factor that we see is, is that you have to measure this stuff over time. And of course, what I'm talking about is what I spent 17 years learning in working for large brand ad agencies is that you don't change somebody's perceptions or attitudes in, in a millisecond. It, it happens over weeks, months, and sometimes over years. In other words, I'm talking about getting rid of the scourge of the click. Just because it's easy to do, we, we can't rely on that as a metric, as we'll see in a minute. Whereas uh, John Battelle recently said, if, you, know, you can't build brands by optimizing for clicks. Essentially, the way it works, you know, we've all seen the funnel, every different version of it. But it shows that we need to build the, that, that momentum in the, in the person's mind, in the consumer's mind. And we know that 88% of internet users shop and research online prior to, prior to buying something. And for some categories, it's over 90%, right? But what we have to look at is that pre-purchase information gathering isn't just happening with search engines. A lot of times, people are going directly to a brand brand's URL to the, directly to their website. And the way they get the idea of that is often through display advertising and display advertising online. So there's a huge opportunity, even before they start doing pre-purchase information gathering, to stimulate activity that could lead to a transaction. And that's the whole awareness, interest, attitudes, uh, perceptions area. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Vipin, who's going to talk to us about the two fundamental challenges we realized as we wrote this book. So, so Jeff always has the razzle-dazzle numbers, and I have the content, which usually isn't as exciting. So when I come up here, spend a minute only at this stage, tell you about what I'm going to talk about, then I'll come and talk about it and also show you, a, hopefully, an interesting video. So in the book, we have two secrets, just to make it a little bit more mysterious, two, only two, two secrets. The first one is performance measurement. Performance measurement is about metrics and measurement systems and frameworks. So that's what I'm going to be talking about, metrics, measurement, frameworks. And in the display business, you have a very, very interesting dynamic. The most common metrics, click-through rates, cost per click, time spent, are all flawed, all have issues. 
So we'll talk about the right metrics. We'll talk about measurement systems. And the graphic really says, if you do not adopt those, something is going to happen to you. Not nice, Kip. The second thing is, marketers find the space challenging, which we all know. And in this set of numbers, if you look at the number of marketers who found this topic of measurement with display difficult or very difficult, the first two boxes, the red and the black, that, that, that adds up to about 37%. So at least 37% of you say it's very difficult or difficult, which is a pretty significant number. And the last thing I'm going to say from a little man who actually failed in high school but became very famous, and he said perhaps the most profound thing in the space of measurement that all of us should hold true to our hearts, which is not everything that can be counted counts, and not everything that counts can be counted.